Yo guys, welcome back to another Dalmatian Royal Freeze video. Okay, so second upload of the day. Don't worry about the likes or anything like that in this video. It's just, this is a run-through test uh, that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, because if I get it wrong, then you guys can tell me where I got it wrong and we can try and fix it together as a community type scenario or i get it right and i'm telling you guys listen this fucking works this team's broken they basically work in every game mode we're over here we're in seventh zone now someone mentioned to me the other day the uh the water team can probably cheese through any seventh zone and we're here to see if it works i spoiler alert i already know it works but i hadn't tried it with this variation meaning i did it without using this guy right here now i know a lot of you probably won't have him which means it's it's fine you can still cheese seventh zone without him i just want to see how well it works with him uh, and the reason that is is because excuse me um his skill two right here is an aoe super that lowers the physical resist magic resist fire water thunder earth wind light and dark resist buffs by three turns in seventh zone you already know if it's not the element you're supposed to be using they increase or they buff their resistance to it um so if we remove that we're just going to be slapping bitches and uh so we're going to get in we're going to see how this works together like i said spoiler alert i already know you can cheese with just the, the water team without the fin but i'm wondering how much better it is with the fin so uh, i'm going to show you the skill flow right here i'm not going to explain it i will go for the team real quick you guys should already know what the core team does Chigasar is here for the SA gauge charge plus she heals herself when she counters so I don't have to stress about her dying because we're going for that S clear that's what it is it's the S clear there's obviously a little aspect of RNG because there will be times where they've hit fucking hard but like outside of that it doesn't matter um and the rest is literally the same as the team has does not change the team doesn't change there's just like one open slot that you can just throw in anyone depending on what stage it is and this time we're going to use the fin um <clears throat> so let's jump in uh hopefully i've got all my gear and everything sorted we're not gonna order it <clears throat> excuse me right so turn one we're gonna get that sa gauge up we're gonna lower physical well i think he buffs himself uh are you skill two skill two because if i use skill one she goes before haruhime and i don't get the triple sa turn seven and that's what we're aiming for so we're gonna go through let's do this um the <clears throat> the problem is i don't know what turns uh they buff their elemental resistance i'm pretty sure they do it on turn two yeah okay they did it on turn one um which is fine um we're gonna extend those debuffs chigas is gonna come in and sa gauge buff gonna lower that water resistance my, my issue is how much damage they could potentially do is this on hard or not I need to i need to is there a way to check whether it's hard or normal because it feels like they're taking a lot of damage and not doing any damage wait hold on that's <laughs> i did <laughs> it doesn't say they're level 120 i'm pretty sure that's uh very hard so we'll find out at the end if not i gotta re-record this whole damn thing okay so we're gonna waste it because it's mm, <clears throat> it's not really prevalent to have those buffs removed right now we just need them specifically to not be there on turn seven uh so that's what we're aiming for we're going to reapply the sa gauge because obviously finn doesn't have it um and we're going to go through literally the <sighs> i don't think the skill flow changes in any game mode and i'm not gonna lie it's kind of looking like uh even stage three of familiar right whoa there's the rng that i'm talking about like if they decide to bully one unit they could just end your whole run which is fine because seven zone doesn't really cost any stamina all right so he's going to do it now um and they have they have exactly three turns okay so they have three which means they might buff by five turns we'll see we we'll, we will see because if they buff by five turns then obviously it's just a case of changing what uh, the skill flow of the fin going to increase this for the counter rate because we need those additional heals yeah i was saying so true familiar royale i kind of think that the water team is still going to outscore everyone else um and we have the added benefit oh, oh. there we go harahima thank, thank fuck for that i was like they're gonna kill finn um again i'm pretty sure they reapply their resistance buffs now 
which is okay, I guess. But again, we're trying to make it so turn seven, at the beginning of turn seven, they do not have those resistance buffs. Um, so we're hoping that it's only for three turns and they do it now. Because then that would just make it really easy to deal with. Otherwise, you've got to mess up. Whoa, okay, well, they nearly just ended Finn's whole career here. Okay. They did not... Did they reapply? I didn't see an animation, but they didn't reapply. Maybe they only apply it once, or maybe they do it on turn seven. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about how much damage they're actually doing, and that's, to be fair, I only have level 60 and clips on everyone, so um, it's probably that is the reason why. As you see, we're not really doing like incredible amounts of damage, but we've got the triple SAs. Ah, they did it. Hmm. So they... <laughs> uh, you know what? Honestly, this doesn't change much for me. It, it, it's kind of annoying that we're not going to get that additional SA damage because they do it on turn 7. Unless, unless, if you're going... We can we can wait. We can wait one more turn, I think. Um let's check how long the debuffs last for. Five turns. It wasn't always five turns, was it? I think they did this intentionally. Like Mmm. Okay. This I don't put it. I don't think this is an experiment gone wrong, that's for sure. Like it we still have it, like it still works. Uh, we just need to go an another another turn another couple turns like I want to see how much damage we can get off like we obviously know we can s clear it shit we might even get off four essays but keep in mind like if you're going for score for seven so did he at least get that off did he did he remove those debuffs at least like did he he did which means at the end of this turn unless they buff again Okay, so we're not S clearing, but right now the focus is to see how much damage the Aisha can do. So we just need to survive this turn, and those buffs should go away. With the right defense, I'm pretty sure uh, this team can S clear regardless. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what we're after. I'm just going to check their defenses before we do this. It's, okay, so it's still plus 35% water resistance. Um, water down 40, physical down 40, AoE down 35. All right, we're going in. We don't care about none of these animations because I didn't want to make this. I didn't really want to make this a long video, but obviously, I should have checked. I didn't look how much health they had. Yeah, Aisha's gonna cream this up. Not clean, cream. Let's skip the animation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... To be fair, if this is the case, you, like I said beforehand, I did this without the Finn prior to this anyway. So I'm going to come out and we'll see how much it scores. It's not going to S clear because Finn died. 19.3 million with... Okay, no, don't, don't go... This is what I already had. I already S cleared it without using the fin, but using a water team. I brought uh, Luna last time. I bring Luna because she has a physical resist and magic resist buff, as well as in the same buff, uh, she increases how much you heal by, um, like heal plus thirty percent. Sorry, um, I think it's thirty percent. Was it twenty five? I'm not sure. Either way, she's more. She keeps me safe. Like she prevents what just happened. Anyway, guys, so you can basically go back to cheesing any seven zone. Keep in mind. These guys, they're single target damage alone. Like, put it this way. If they bring out a single target 7 zone you want to cheese, just bring Wealth if you have him. The single target damage alone from these guys is just stupid. All right? Anyway, guys, that's going to be everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry Finn died and ruined the run. Um, but I hope you learned something. Have a great fucking day. I love you guys, and I'll catch you later.